Just finished an Orange Theory workout and I am now soaking wet because it is raining. Ew! And of course, as soon as I get adjusted in the car, it stops. <laughs> Um, okay, so I have to, uh, I need to put a picture up of my workout on Instagram because if you didn't post a picture of your workout on Instagram, then you didn't do it. It's my theory anyway. Okay. I have to run to, um, Walmart now, which I really don't want to do, but I really need to do because we are out of like a couple essential things like it's grocery pickup week and Sam, I didn't realize Sam has been, every time he's used bread or made a sandwich, he's used my gluten-free bread. For some reason, gluten-free loaves are smaller. So we're like out, but we're gonna be out of town this weekend. I don't wanna like go and get, you know, I don't wanna be out, but I don't wanna go and get like our full grocery order. So I'm just running to the store and getting my bread, some bananas, cause I really want some bananas. And then wrapping paper for my mommy's Mother's Day present. So. That's kind of what's going on today. I have a really, really busy work week, a really busy work day. Um, I like your truck, mister. A really busy work day, but it's a lot of calls and um, emails and like a bunch of stuff that's like I don't, I don't want to do. So um, that's kind of what's going on today. But I got to run to Walmart. My workout was so good at Orange Theory. I just burned 500, hold on. Okay, so I exercised for one hour and I burned 503 calories, so pretty good. Okay, let's get rolling. <sighs> okay, so I just dropped this camera. Hopefully it behaves. Uh, my mommy's here now though. <laughs> We're gonna do her makeup for the wedding. We're trying it out. I got asked the other day, what colors do you wear? She has more of an olive tone. Complexion. I wear this. This one's the one you're wearing, Pebble, 3C2. Someone asked if me, if they said, are, are you wearing, meaning me, double wear it to the wedding? And I said, you, me, and Kayla. So I guess you, me, Kayla, and her mom, and Taylor. So, Most everybody. Yeah, almost everybody. So my mom wears Pebble, I wear Fresco. Do you know what color Kayla wears? She told me. Kayla's got very, very light skin. Her, um, Cool Bone. Cool Bone's what I wear when I'm pale. Oh, so that might. I have at home for winter. So wait, maybe cool bone. Let me check. Hold on. So I, I would have. wear when it comes fall, I can't wear it. This may have a yellow tinge to it, but it's dark. It's like wet. Oh, dark. shell. I don't wear. I don't wear cool bone. I wear fresco and shell, so you can see the difference in the color. I will wear fresco this weekend. You can see the difference. There. Um, and then what color shape tape do you have? Do you have, Mama? I have um, medium sand. Okay. It's like out of the 30, it's like number 15. You know what I'm saying? It's like right, right. in the middle. I have fair neutral. You can definitely get colors there. That's right. Marshalls. This right over there by NCG? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'll go there. That's my name brands. I'll go there. That's what I'll do.
Okay, so I realized so we never room shared room. your makeup after. Look how good it looks. But don't look at my hair. <laughs> we, um, we gossip too much to not have that be sped up. Um, I really think I'm gonna have to buy another camera. This one's like acting all crazy now, which frustrates me because this is my favorite for try on hauls. Could but I get away with this one? I don't know. Let's go look at your dress real quick. Because that stays on for like 12 hours. Cover girl. Like I eat and drink, everything stays on. What color is it? Makeup oh, looks. Look at how raggedy I look, how cute she looks. No, it doesn't have, that's not a color. It says it made in UK. Well, they're numbers. 750. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go look at her dress. Bless it. And then we gotta go get my car. That's what we say in the style, we say bless. We say but bless. makeup looks so fabulous. Got my hair though. I think your hair looks fun. Looks so good. So good. Hey guys, okay. If you have not watched Wednesday's video, go watch it right now on my main channel. I'm gonna link it below. That video gave me hell and back trying to upload it, but um, I am, hold on. I finished. You said, yeah, I wouldn't be ready by five o'clock and it's 4.59. Um, that video just, it put me through so much and then I realized after it was like almost completely up, description box done, thumbnail done, that there was one part of the video that was in it edited incorrectly so I had to go re-edit and then re-export and then re-upload. <laughs> it's a lot. It like it's been hours. So um today is Wednesday. We are leaving tomorrow for the wedding. I'm so excited. We are going to meet one of Sam's friends now, Conrad, who have when's the last time we saw Conrad, sweetie? It's been a couple years. Or was it it was before COVID lockdown. He wanted to come see us last year. And Sam, of course, was like, you have to ask Mariah because he doesn't want to say no to things. He makes me say no. And um, I told Conrad, I was like, no, you're not coming to my house. And he was like, Mariah. I was like, no, because he lives in Chicago. And when I tell you that he wanted to come visit us, like at the peak of COVID, I mean, it was like April. Like we didn't know anything. And so it's been a hot minute, but I'm excited to see him. Come on, Doug, you wanna go outside? Let me show you guys my outfit for today. I have not been on Instagram at all. I have not been doing anything. Like my bed is not made. That's not like me. Hello, Celine. Like, look at this. It's just been a day. Okay. So the wind is blowing. Um, so it's like chilly, but it's hot. If that makes sense. Like it's cool ish. Um, I always get really cold though whenever we go to restaurants. So I always take a jacket, but I have on my Anina Bing tea, Walmart um, camo jacket, leather leggings, because I'm really bloated today, because it's, you know, you know. Um, and then Golden Goose sneakers. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just was about to vlog my pantsless husband. I know, he's so cute. Just let me. But um, tonight we have a couple tasks. Gotta go to Walmart after we get done eating with Conrad, gotta pick up a couple things. I have completely forgot I need to wipe my teeth. Um, so I'm hoping I can get a couple express strip. And then we need to get like a couple more things. I can't think of what they are. Um, we have to get Sam a tie. <laughs> I was like, we're just gonna go to Walmart and get you a tie. He prefers black ties, but the, um, so like he has a bunch of black ties, but the color, you know, they have patterns and stuff on them, but the color, um, of this wedding. Like everyone in my family's wearing like really pretty light pastel colors. Like I'm wearing sage green, my mom's wearing lavender, and then all the boys are wearing a, what? Gray suit. My sister doesn't wear dresses, so she's wearing a gray suit. All right, babe, you ready to go? Cinco de Mayo. Margaritas. Okay, friends, so we are back. Oh, I need to take those down. We tie them up and we're vacuuming. So I am back from, or we are back from um, meeting with Conrad. It was so good to see him. He lives in California and we live in South Carolina. I asked him like, you know, how it was different because Conrad lived here. I mean, he lived in Texas for most of his life and then he came to South Carolina for college and now he's been over there. So he anyway, for the last he was in Chicago. He's been all over the place. 
Um, but I was just like, how is it in South Carolina now? Because it's completely different from California, especially like COVID restrictions. So I know, and we're like country bumpkins. So I have shared this before. I, I don't know where, um, hold on. I think it was probably in a vlog and I think it might've been in the vlog where we were preparing for my older brother's wedding. So September, 2019, um, cause it was definitely pre COVID. So a lot of our packing has to be done tomorrow. We like literally won't get it done. Um, because like I need to put on my makeup tomorrow. I need to, what's that other thing? I need to use my Clarisonic tomorrow. Like Sam, lots of things have to be packed tomorrow, but I'm going ahead and packing my bag for the bridal suite today. And I now have been in enough weddings. I think this is like my eighth or ninth wedding I've been in, um, where I know to take a hard suitcase that locks on the day of the wedding because I have carried like 14 bags into weddings before or into like the day of. Um, you always, always, always need to take your curling iron. You always, always need to take your makeup no matter what. Every single wedding I've been in, whether we got hair and makeup done, neither done, like we always ended up needing them. Always take them, better to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Um, so pack in a hard suitcase. Another thing I wanna recommend is shoes. So I had some on my wedding day, but they were like really dingy, like black flip-flops. So I got Kayla cool slippers. So I'm taking my slippers because you're gonna be at that bridal suite all day. And like, I'll take mine off for pictures um, and probably just go barefoot. Usually we all just go barefoot for pictures cause like that's what looks best. Some people bring socks, but I'm also taking flip flops. I just wanted something comfy. I always have on either socks or bedroom slippers. Like right now I have on bedroom slippers. I am also taking, I always do this because I don't know what the bride is gonna get us. If she's gonna get us something to wear when we're getting ready or not. I always take a big oversized shirt and like a pair of leggings or shorts, depending on the weather, um, that buttons for when I'm getting ready. So like my bride, my sister-in-law who married my older brother, she got us like jewelry and um, different stuff like that, not getting ready shirts. So I had actually brought my shirt that buttons down so that when I did my hair, I wasn't having to pull something over my head. And then it's actually a gift from, um, another wedding I was in and it's monogrammed. So I kept it cause it's really, really cute. And then what else? Take a steamer, always take a steamer. I've got a steamer. Um, and then I take multiple bras. So I'm actually about to pack these in my little bra thing. And I'm actually taking shapewear just because I'm so bloated. <laughs> like this would happen the weekend that my, of my brother's wedding, but I'm really bloated just happens and um you know just want to feel a little good my dress is form fitted so i will take my bras in this little bra thing i usually pack everything in one side and then like just my dress in the other side so like tomorrow actually my makeup won't go in here but like when i'm packing on the day of like my curling iron my jewelry all of that stuff it's gonna go on one side and then i put the dress all by itself to so that there's like no tears, no chances of anything. And I don't really worry about it wrinkling because I always, no matter what, steam my dress when I get there. It's just not worth it to me to like try and, you know, hold a dress funny and lay it in this and do that. And hold, like, I just, just, just steam it when you get there. Usually drop bridesmaids dresses, like they basically just like melt the wrinkles right out. It's very easy. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, I think I've got all my toiletries need to be, need to go in tomorrow. A lot of stuff is just gonna have to be done tomorrow. I'm actually getting this vlog up tomorrow. So when you are watching this actively, we will probably already be in Rock Hill with family. And like I said, I am gonna vlog the wedding. Um, Kayla asked me to. It's the only thing is like, I remember my wedding. I really, really wanted to vlog my wedding, but like the day went by so quick and I literally kept forgetting. I think I know a little bit more about vlogging now though. So it's pro it may be a little bit different. And also we'll be it's different because I'm not the bride. Like when you're the bride, it's a different level of like pressure and stuff you have to do. I'm not the bride, I'm married, I'm done. <laughs> Um, so that's really the advice I have for bridesmaids packing. I'm like literally sitting here on the floor underneath broken blinds and tied up curtains. Like this is as real as it gets, but the car is loaded up, um, right now with bridal lunch and stuff. My mom dropped off two bins for the rehearsal dinner stuff that she's taking and they wouldn't fit in her car. So I'm taking them 
tomorrow sometime before 12 the flowers arrive i probably won't be able to get it into a clip so you might just have to like see it on instagram um it is 11 pounds of flowers it's a i i ordered 20 hydrangea stems that are huge and 50 pink roses and it is 11 pounds of flowers so it's gonna be interesting to see all that stuff and how we transport it where there's a will there's a way the cookers don't we don't not do things like we find ways to to get things done we don't not do them here so all right guys that is plenty of vlog footage for this one lots of wedding prep i'm so excited um i know i will be vlogging the at least clips of before people show up to the bridal luncheon i'll try my best because i want to show you guys what that stuff looks like so excited but again kayla asked me to vlog i am not ever comfortable just sticking a camera in family members faces friends faces because at the end of the day like kayla's on youtube as well we made that decision um our family did not so what you may see i i don't know but i've talked long enough i'm a little bit overwhelmed but i will get this done so we will see you guys probably sunday